Oh dear, the lighting here is not great. That's fine. Today we're doing a cover of I Know It Won't Work by Gracie Abrams. Uh, I got to see this live actually during the Pittsburgh Eras Tour stop, so um, I really like this song. And um, stay, it, you can stay till the end if you want, but I have a message for someone at the end. Um, I know he's probably watching this, so there's a message at the end for you. <laughs> Side note, um, I had a tooth pulled four days ago, so um, not in pain, thankfully, but if you hear a slight, like, a lisp, or if something is a little wonky, no, you don't. So, um, I have a message for one of my friends, and I didn't really know how to say it, so... I sang a song, uh, <laughs> but 
but like trying to think of what to say. I had every intention to talk to you again when I stopped talking to you and like I was really overwhelmed with con prep because I was trying to get ready for the convention I was going to. I was trying to do work. My cat ate a sewing needle and then I was freaking out about that. I was in debt <laughs> and freaking out about that. So, and like texting was just overwhelming me and that is my problem. I know that I get overstimulated and stuff. And so I had every intention to talk to you again after that, but then you wouldn't stop texting, even though I said that like I needed some time, you just kept texting and texting and when you couldn't get to me, you started contacting my mom and then trying to tag me publicly and it's a lot, it's a lot. And um, then like out of the blue, you're just buying me things which I was never comfortable with and I had told you multiple times, don't buy me things. I didn't need you to buy me things. And like, it just made me really uncomfortable. So um, I just never went back to talking to you. And um, yeah, so it's, it's just, I'm not comfortable. <laughs> it just comes down to that. And then the fact that I know you still like me and I just, I didn't appreciate when you said that you thought you could be the one to change me, but I'm a lesbian and I'm always going to be a lesbian. And it made me really, really, really uncomfortable when you asked to kiss me in October. I didn't like it at all. And that's why I had my mom take, have me come with me to take you back to your hotel every night after that. I would not go to your hotel room. It's just, I'm not comfortable. And when I said I didn't want your mom having my phone number and like you never outright said it but I heard your mom say something about it over Skype I know you went behind my back and gave it to her and that broke my trust and so I'm sorry but I'm not coming back